or let me just put this to you like this this is just an absolute warfare somebody makes a vow they have made a vow that's why i do say often that you know what if somebody is to ever say over my dead body i will never forgive you ever my dead body i won't rest up until i see you suffer or see you down it is not something that you should take lightly these people they are not willing to repent they are not willing to stop consulting witch doctors to bewitch you whatever they can do as long as at the end of the day you are down now those are the type of people whom god eventually deal with personally even though you wanna make peace you'll be like i'm letting go if you will let go they are not letting go they're gonna they won't stop until they win over the war hence some people the lord strike them and put them down completely though you pray well for them but the lord the best way to deal with them is to put them down the bible said the lord made sure that joseph and mary and the child or the baby jesus they hide in egypt and they were only called out when herod died so you see it means that herod would have tried to kill the baby jesus had he still been alive. So the only option was for him to die first. It means, had Moses went back to Egypt while those who wanted to kill him were still alive, they would have, uh, would have killed him or arrested him still. So they had to die first. Hence, the Lord emphasized that those who seek your life are dead. Now you can go back to Egypt. Therefore, I declare and I declare anybody who has made a vow to put you down, who is not willing to let go, let God locate them by his Holy Spirit and deal with them accordingly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.